Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove the front hub from your GMT 400, which will be 88 to 98. This is applicable to the four wheel drive models. I think probably the 1500 and the 2500, I'm not sure about the one ton. Uh, it will also apply to the four wheel drive uh, Blazers, Tahoe, Suburban, things like that. So the hub is what the axle shaft, the splined axle shaft goes through. And the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the brake caliper. And to do that, you need a 3 8 inch hex, or some people call it an Allen wrench. It's very easy to do if you have it in a socket. Slide this off and hang it up just like that. So anyway, slide the disc off, set that aside. See that? That is no good. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up the three holes here. Working on the video for the other, uh, for the axle rebuild. If you saw that, then uh, I took the axle to the shop. But anyway, let me show you what a bad hub bearing looks like up close. See that? Should not hear it grinding. Won't even turn all the way. So that's getting replaced. All right, so to replace the hub is really easy. Um, I'm just going to take just a little bit of a little bit of grease, put in here just so it doesn't ever rust. We don't have a problem with rust in this area but you know water gets in there it can do a little bit of rust so all right and let me go get some copper anti seas and I'm gonna put on the threads there all right so I'm gonna take our hub assembly here and we'll just slide it right on the splines like that. All right, so I'm gonna go do all three and I'm gonna be torquing these down to, I'll have to figure that out, but I'll let you all know what it was. All right, so I tried to find the right torque and I get conflicting information everywhere. So if anybody knows, put it in the comments, but I'm gonna set this to about 90 pounds. I'm gonna check again before I button it up. 